What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. With this video, we are jumping into Batman Beyond Neo Year issue number two. If you did not catch issue number one, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything that has been going on with Terry and living Gotham. With this city of Gotham becoming sentient. It has deployed its weapon against Batman, known as Gotham Sword. It made its opening assault against the Batman, and with him on limited resources, and no longer having Bruce Wayne to come to his aid, Terry is having to go out there and try to find new allies he may have never worked with before. As living Gotham begins to dominate this city, putting all of its own elected officials into place, making it a system that it has totally total access and total authority. Terry is not sure if he is up to the task of taking down an entire city. Be sure to buy the comic, support the industry, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we pick up with issue number two, we are picking up with the city letting Batman know that he needs to stop all of this. That Neo Gotham is the end all be all for this city. That he needs to give up this futile endeavor of trying to save all of these people. Because in the end, Batman will fall. But if Terry is going to fall, he's going down swinging. The only problem, Batman is a creature of the night, living in all of the shadows. Neo Gotham, this is a place with very little shadows. All of the darkness has been illuminated. It took him a month to recover from his last fall, and he knows that this city is watching him, tracking him, and keeping tabs on every move he makes. For the next six weeks, he tries to stick to the shadows, striking only at nighttime. And even then, the sword in the city, they find him. After the last confrontation, he finally starts to understand that this city is tracking him because of his suit. While it may be one of the most advanced pieces of hardware that has ever existed, the problem is this thing puts out so many signals that the living city, it can pick up on all of these. From proximity sensors to IR sensors, this thing has a little bit of everything in it. Downgrading the suit, he is going back to basics. Taking out every little microchip, everything that makes this suit so advanced. The truth is, he has to become an insurgent. A ghost in the machine. Getting himself an anti-surveillance jacket. This is going to help him because the city isn't going to be able to identify his face. It's going to have problems tracking him at all. And this is exactly what he wants to go completely unnoticed while he walks through the city, simply observing everything that Neo Gotham is doing. The city is beginning to instill its own political officials, so on and so forth, making power plays and making chess moves to take absolute control. Terry's only real hope is to expose the machine, expose Neo Gotham and everything that it is hiding. Only then can he hope that the people will open up their eyes and see what is happening before them. For Terry, all of this starts at Gotham Central Insurance. Because if something were to go wrong with everything that is happening, they're gonna want to get their money out. Going through these records, this is where he learns that somebody is stealing jewels. But these jewels, they aren't making their way onto the streets. Someone is hoarding all of these gems. From bad guys to fences, he finds his way to Robin Hood. As he breaks into Robin Hood's place, we're learning that he's really working on limited resources. Running out of equipment on his utility belt is only a matter of time before he has nothing left in his arsenal, before his suit is the only thing that is remaining from Batman. Asking Robin Hood where these gems are, we see Gestalt. Having no intention of sticking around and facing Batman, we see the three minds, they take off. 
As Batman heads into the air, what we learn is that the rocket fuel that jettisons him up into the air, it is about empty. This is the last of the rocket fuel given to him from Batman. Another sign that his resources truly are dwindling. Chasing Gestalt through the city, he is led to Joker Town. Definitely not a place that he wants to be. Immediately being attacked by all of these clowns. But Batman has trained him well in how to fight these guys. Because at the end of the day, they have no training, they have no skill, they have no understanding of how to actually fight. Their biggest advantage is that they outnumber you. For Terry, this is no problem. Blasting his way through all of these clowns, kicking some freaking faces in, he makes his way back to Gestalt. As they stand on a rooftop and he is completely out of fuel, he lets it be known that he is not here to bring anybody in. In fact, there is a much bigger threat at play and he is here for allies. Giving the whole story, letting him know that the city is alive. And not some metaphor kind of way, the city has become sentient. He takes off his mask, even saying his full name. This is how desperate Terry is right now. He needs some kind of help, any kind of help. At this point, he is not sure that he is enough to take down this city. If Bruce Wayne were here, it might be possible, but Terry is full of doubt. And with Gustav being a genius with the technology, he truly does believe they have the opportunity to beat Neo Gotham. But Gustav has no intention of helping him out. More or less telling him that they are going to live in the shadows, they are going to hide, let happen what is going to happen. They are going to sit on the sidelines as this city takes over everything and just hope that it doesn't come after them. And of course, this infuriates Terry. The fact that they aren't going to do anything to help him. They are going to live out their days and they're going to let what happens happen. But what they don't know is that Batman was able to get a hold of those gems. Having them in his hand and holding them over the edge. Letting it be known that at one time he thought just like them. That it was impossible to face these odds as one person. And the things that he has been through in life, they have cost him everything. Letting him know that if you want to continue playing in the blind spots, pretending like Neo Gotham isn't going to catch up with you, that is perfectly fine. The truth is, you are just afraid to face this city. You are full of cowardice. And so your play to be neutral in all of this, it is nothing more than that. As he drops these diamonds, these gems over the side of the building, the three mines, they hurry off. And down below, at the bottom of this building, this is where we see the Sword of Gotham. Having been tracking Terry, it is very likely we are going to have a confrontation yet again. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know, ever since Dark Knight's Death Metal, I was really hoping we get more of this sentient city. While it's not directly connected to all of that, it's the same premise, it's the same idea. A super intelligence, a super computer has taken over everything in Gotham. It is living in the networks. It travels through all of the servers. It has access to almost everything. And this artificial intelligence is now manipulating everything in the system. Planting individuals she wants or it wants in control. And it's really awesome to see Terry stripped of everything. All the money, all the resources. And this has been, you know, it's nothing new with Batman. But it's been very, very highly used in the recent years. You know, it wasn't that long ago where Bruce Wayne was stripped of all of his money and working out of the sewers. So even though it is relatively common to happen with Bruce Wayne, with Batman in general, it's nice to see Terry out here on his own trying to navigate these situations without the mentorship of Bruce Wayne. And seeing Terry so desperate to go find any kind of ally, it has to ask the question, who will he go to next? Who will he align himself with? And how far down into the criminal underworld is he willing to go to take down this city? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to 
help this channel out, go ahead and hit the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel, and every little bit helps us out. Now, if you can't do that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, make sure you like this video, and until the next breakdown.